morning rounds. It is Men's Health Month, a time where we shed light on preventable, preventable health problems of men and boys. And here to share about what we should be looking out for is Christie Clinic's Dr. Waheed. Good morning, doctor. How you doing? Morning. I'm doing good. Thank you. Thanks so much Thanks for your for time. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it. So first and foremost, let's talk about the importance of Men's Health Month. Okay. So um, the purpose of Men's Health Month is to increase the awareness of preventable health conditions and to encourage early detection and treatment of uh, diseases among men and boys. And why is there a need um, for increasing awareness about men's health in particular? It's a fact that uh, men on an average die almost uh, five years earlier than women. Uh, part of the reason is that men are more um, reluctant to go to the doctor. And additionally, certain conditions are more prevalent in men, which uh, patients and their doctors uh, should keep an eye on through regular uh, appointments. So do you have any uh, general health recommendations for men? Yeah, we always tell the patients, even if you don't feel sick, it is important to see your doctor um, regularly and schedule your annual exams. Um, there are uh, several screening tests out there that are recommended for uh, men of uh, certain ages um, that we uh, promote. And for men 65 and older, we uh, recommend an abdominal aortic aneurysm screening. Uh, and for men even younger than that age range, we recommend uh, blood pressure screening, uh, colorectal cancer screening, uh, prostate cancer screening, um, um, you know, depression screening, diabetes screening, and cholesterol screening. And you mentioned the importance <laughs> of getting of scheduling an annual exam. Um, that goes along with the next thing you want to mention, don't wait to go see your doctor. Yes, so we always uh, stress to the patients that you don't have to wait to see a doctor when you feel uh, well beyond a reasonable amount of time. Men typically have a tendency to delay seeking care when needed or indicated, and this could lead to worsening of a condition or give rise to complications from the same. And what about uh, medications? So uh, we stress to the patients that it's very important that you understand your prescriptions and you take them as directed. You have to remember that it's your body and it's important to understand what exactly you're taking and why and the potential adverse effects related to the same. And doctor, you also have some recommendations on vaccines as well? Yes, um, we advise the patients to stay current with their immunizations. You have to remember there are quite a few conditions, quite a few diseases out there that are preventable with timely immunizations. And um, that includes shingrix, you know, which is indicated for prevention of shingles, uh, recommended typically after age 50. We have Prevnar and Pneumovax, which are typically um, indicated after age 65 for prevention of pneumonia. We have the TD or the TDAP uh, immunizations for prevention of tetanus and diphtheria, pertussis, you know, uh, that is indicated once every 10 years. And uh, we have the flu shot that's recommended annually for prevention of the influenza. And of course, doctor, it's important, of course, the general um, healthy eating and exercise as well. Yes, we always stress to the patients healthy eating um, exercising on a regular basis, the importance of appropriate stress management, and maintaining healthy relationships. That's all very important. All right, doctor, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, and a happy Father's Day in advance to all the dads out there. Oh, most definitely. Right. Okay. <laughs> thank you.